Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install profiles in Lightroom 7.3. Unfortunately, if you're using an earlier version of Lightroom, you will not be able to install profiles. This functionality was just added to this latest version of Lightroom, version 7.3. And last week, I did do a couple videos where I introduced profiles and talked about how profiles are different than presets. Well, people are still a little bit confused, and to tell you the truth, I don't blame them. Because in the past, Adobe had profiles down here in the calibration tab, and really the only difference there really was from profile to profile for most cameras was that there might be maybe a slight color shift between profiles, or there was maybe more vivid colors in one profile over another, or maybe increased contrast, something like that. So the changes were relatively minimal. There wasn't a lot of difference. And with the advent of Lightroom 7.3, Adobe put the profiles up here in the basic tab and made them more front and center. And they made or they provided the ability for us to create our own profiles. And they supplied a software development kit for us to create our own profiles. Well, the software development kit really isn't a kit per se where you could actually use it to create a profile. It's really just instructions on how to use Adobe Camera Raw to create a profile. And those of you not familiar with Adobe Camera Raw, it is part of Photoshop. And really all Adobe Camera Raw is, it's the develop module of Lightroom. It's the same exact thing. It does the same exact thing. It uses the same process engine. It just is cosmetically different. It has all the same controls, brushes, everything. So with that, one could go into Adobe Camera Raw and process an image and then create a profile from that processing. Well, that's really a preset. So I could see why people are confused. But really, a profile can be so much more than that because what Adobe did, they allowed one to use a LUT. And what a LUT is, is a lookup table. And it's a common uh, thing used for video grading so in the realm of video digital video people would grade color grade their film using a lot so it was very common in video and it's kind of moved its way now over to still photography as well so you could use a lot and a lot could do a lot more than what adobe camera raw could do it really could shift colors in a major way you could substitute colors you could have green become purple and you can't do that with Lightroom, and you can't do that with Adobe Camera Raw. So you could do a lot more with a LUT. You could do a lot of things that will affect the tones of the image and the contrast of the image, and you could put that in a LUT. So you could now add that to a profile. On top of that, there's a thing called a look table. A look table is just a really a big table of numbers, and what it will do, it really will shift colors. You could... Uh, affect the U saturation and luminance values of all the colors in an image and really shift them all around. And to create my profiles, I knew how to create LUTs. I've done that in the past, but I never really even heard of a look table. So I actually had to learn some rudimentary Apache computer programming so that I could write a routine that would actually write a look table out because it would be tedious to handwrite it. It's, if you saw one, you'd understand. And in the Adobe Software Development Kit, they give you a sample LUT and a sample look table so you get an idea what they look like and what they do. So with that, a profile could be so much more. Now, I suspect that there's going to be people eventually selling profiles for Lightroom 7.3, but they're really just going to be pseudo souped up uh, presets. And they're just going to not really be everything that a profile could be. So I say all this to bring it up because partly because I want you to be aware and I want you to know that my profiles aren't like that. I created a LUT for each of my profiles. And in some case, cases, I created a look table as well. And I really didn't do any adjusting in Adobe Camera Raw, meaning I didn't adjust any of the sliders or do any of the things that you would do in a preset. All of my profiles were created with LUTs 
and look tables. So they're going to be quite unique and you're going to be see a major change in your image in some cases. In other cases, it might be more subtle, but you'll see if you ever want to purchase them. Now with that, enough of that. Let's, how do you install them in Lightroom? Well, the thing is Adobe didn't really give the functionality to, to easily as, install these things into Lightroom. You just can't go up to the menu and pick install profiles. It just doesn't have that functionality. So we have to actually go to the folder in the computer where these are kept. Unfortunately, they're deep into the library folders of your computer in the application support section, which is almost impossible to navigate to. But with Lightroom, you could get in kind of the general zip code of where these things are kept. So to do that, go up here to the top and go to your preferences. If you have a Mac, preferences are under the Lightroom menu. If you have a PC, preferences are under the Edit menu. Either way, open up Preferences. And then on the Presets tab, you'll see right here is Show Lightroom Presets Folder. Now this isn't where we're going to put them, but this is going to get us into the right neighborhood. So we're going to click on that. And you could see that in my case, because I have a Mac, Mac Finder opened up. Of course, if you have a PC, um, File Explorer would open up. So you would be right here. Now this is the general area. What you want to look for is you want to look for Camera Raw, which is right here, this folder. Now I've been reading some forums and it appears that some people don't have this folder. And it seems that the people that don't have this folder don't have the latest version of Photoshop CC installed. So if you own Lightroom 7.3, then you're a Creative Cloud member. And the minimal amount you could do is get also the with the Photoshop or the photography package is you'll also have Photoshop CC. So download and, and install Photoshop CC, and then suddenly you should have this folder, Camera Raw. So we're going to open that, and then there's going to be another folder in here called Settings right here. So we're going to open that, and now you can see there's presets in here, but we're not worried about those. What we want to do is get whatever profiles you have, wherever you got them from, if you created your own, whatever, you want to put them in here. So we're going to open up My Profiles. I have them in this folder here. And I have four different profile packs, an alternate reality pack, which really does major color shifts and make green grass purple, things like that. I have black and white profiles, landscape profiles, and wedding lifestyle portrait profiles. So all you got to do is get these four folders, or in this case, it's four folders, into this settings folder. So I'll do it any way you like to. I'm going to select one. And then I'm going to hold the shift key down and select the last one. And then I'm simply going to drag them right in here, just like that. So it's going to ask me, do I want to move them because I have a Mac? And I'm going to write yes. So, okay, they're in there. So we're done. So we're going to close these down. Now, if you go back to Lightroom, and we'll close this preferences down, you're going to open up your profiles by clicking on these little brick bricks over here. You're going to see they're not there you have to close Lightroom down. So we're going to close Lightroom down and then we're going to reopen Lightroom. So we'll go back to Lightroom and open it back up. And when you open Lightroom back up, whenever it opens up, you'll go back over here to the basic tab and we'll click on these little four bricks over here. And you're going to see in this case, I have them right here. There's Morganti alternate reality profiles. Morganti black and white profiles, Morganti landscape profiles, and Morganti wedding lifestyle profiles. And there's 25 profiles in each pack for a total of 100. And you could open them, say the alternate reality, and then when you hover over them, you'll get a sample. And you could also see the little postage stamp gives you a, an idea what it's going to look like. So there's one called dark and rich. There's another one, another one. You could see how it really does major color shifts in this alternate reality profile. So again, you really can't do that with Adobe Camera Run. You can't do that with Lightroom, but with the power of a LUT and a look table, I'm able to create these profiles that really give you this alternate reality look to your image. And again, there's 25 of them in here. And I think 
this alternate reality one works best when you have a lot of land and sky because you really could shift greens. And what I did was with this pack is I preserve skin tone. So if you have people in the shot, you're not going to hopefully make them look like aliens. Their skin tone should stay the same. Everything around them should shift colors. So you could see there's some some crazy look looks in here in this alternate reality profiles. Now I have black and white profiles. These are rather difficult to do because Lightroom has 17 black and white profiles and they're really good if you ask me there's some great ones these are the ones that are in Lightroom these aren't mine and they have some great ones in here and I wanted mine to be different so I did a lot of toning so I did like a copper look uh, a cyanotype look a fall foliage look there's a high contrast uh, toned so I did some toning some different black and white tonings you might not uh, easily achieve unless you had Photoshop or something like that. So those are the black and white ones. Uh, the landscape ones, again, you know, give you a nice base. Again, I'm, I, I'm going to reiterate that the profile should go on early in your processing, you know, probably first. Then process on top of it. Adjust your, at least do basic processing where you're going to adjust the tonal values. Adjust your exposure, your highlights, your shadows, your blacks, your whites. Uh, just contrast, uh, do that to better, you know, process your image so it looks perfect. And, you know, from then, now you could use a preset too. I suggest you put the preset on first, then do the profile because some presets will set the profile to something else. So you could put a pro my profile on, let's say, an alternate reality profile, then hit a preset. And the preset will go to a different, will set it to a different profile. So you have to put the profile on second. And finally, I have these wedding lifestyle ones. And these were rather difficult too because I wanted to do things that would uh, be different than the black and white in some cases. But in other cases, um, tan the skin or maybe whiten the skin. So do different things with skin, but still make it look natural. And not only is this for wedding images, this would be for any type of lifestyle image. People in the environment... Um, things like that. Um, so you get all these different looks. And you could really change the color of the skies and the clouds and do quite a bit with the wedding lifestyle profile. So again, the software development kit, I will put a link to that below. And I will be doing videos that will demonstrate how to create a LUT. So a lot of people want to know how, did you, how do you do a, you know, create a LUT. And there's all different ways you could do it. You could use a lot of different programs. I'm going to demonstrate how to do it with Photoshop because that's what I used. And then I will do a program of how to create your own profile. And you need Photoshop and Adobe Camera Raw to do that as well. So again, even though I'm selling profiles, my whole goal in life is to teach you how to learn to use this software. <clears throat> so I'm really motivated to teach you how to do it for yourself. The, um, <clears throat> the sale of the profiles just helps support me to keep doing it. That's all. So that's it. I hope, I know I was really wordy in this. I tried to explain a lot of questions I received about the difference between profiles and presets. So I apologize. I was so wordy. I apologize if I'm making this too much of a sale. I don't mean to do that either. I really feel uncomfortable selling. Um, again, I, my whole motivation is to teach you photography. So thank you very much for watching my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.